discrimination, racism, segregation. All of these are words you could use to describe the way that whites looked down on blacks in the early 1960s. But in the summer of 1964, the blacks would finally stand up for what they believed was right. Many civil rights organizations such as the Congress of Racial Equality and the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee came together to create a project, a project in which the rates of black voting in the South would expand. They would call this the Mississippi Freedom Summer. The project was run as a whole by the local council of federated organizations, also known as the COFO. Several hundred white college students were also invited to participate in the Freedom Summer. The director of the event was the SNCC field secretary, Robert Paris Moses, also known as Bob Moses. The Freedom Summer was planned to be an attempt to register as many African American voters as possible in the state of Mississippi, which had majorly excluded blacks from voting. The project would also set up many freedom schools and freedom churches in small towns to help aid the local black population. Over the course of the 10-week project, 1,000 people were arrested, 80 workers were beaten, 37 churches and 30 black homes were either bombed or burned, and 4 people were critically wounded. The Mississippi Freedom Summer was held almost completely statewide and consisted of marches, speeches, and many non-harmful protests. A group of around 15,000 people marched from Memphis, Tennessee to Jackson, Mississippi. During the march, many people were killed by gunmen who disagreed with the opinions of blacks. But this only caused more blacks to join in and help protest. Both blacks and whites came from across the state to help participate in the march. In the end, the Mississippi Freedom Summer did not succeed in getting many voters registered, but it did have a major effect on the civil rights movement. Before the Freedom Summer, the news media had paid little to no attention to the discrimination of black voters in the South. The events that summer had captured national attention, and after all these summer workers volunteered in 1964, their leadership decided to continue projects in the following summers. In reverence to Black Like Me, the Mississippi Freedom Summer was partly made up of white people who wanted to bring a change to the ways that Negroes were treated. Just like Griffin, the whites that were a part of the project were constantly harassed and made fun of. Also, Griffin and the whites were able to walk and communicate with the Negroes as friends.